In terms of spiritual history of Ireland, perhaps the most important text of all was the Confessions of St. Patrick. Now, generally speaking, when these appear in print up to now, they were in academic volumes that were set for people who had studied early Irish linguistics and Latin, and not for your ordinary Joseph Punter. Oh, yeah. Recently, the Royal Irish Academy have published a lovely little edition of the Confessio, which is in this simple little uh, paperback that you see here. And I think that to get the, the, the whole feel of it, perhaps it might be worthwhile just to read the first paragraph here. It goes, My name is Patrick. I am a sinner, a simple country person, and the least of all believers. I am looked down upon by many. My father was Calponius. He was a deacon. His father was Potitas, a priest who lived at Vanavan Tabernay. His home was near here, and that is where I was taken prisoner. I was about 16 at the time. St. Patrick then goes on to describe his own spiritual life as well in bits and pieces his real life as he was enslaved in Ireland, left and escaped and returned again some years later to convert the Irish. They chose him as a simple man, as a human man, and not afraid of a little bit of politicking when it was needed, but nonetheless a gentleman. St. Patrick's Confession. 